One aspect of the coronavirus conversation here in Canada that has really frustrated me is this idea that your voice doesn't matter, that you can't have an opinion on all these big things, these, these things of huge consequence that are being done to our daily lives unless you are an epidemiologist or an infectious disease expert. Otherwise, pipe down, shut up, your voice doesn't matter. That's a problematic opinion for a number of reasons, and I've, I've spoken about that before, but I'm now getting worried that there's the potential that that mindset is going to bleed over into other issues and other important matters of debate here in this country moving forward. Now, let's be clear on one thing. There are obviously highly technical matters that only people in their specialties can answer. The question of, oh, I don't know, genome sequencing the virus, which was a conversation back in 2020, or, or what drugs to give someone who's been hospitalized with COVID-19. I mean, that is obviously a technical matter, and, and we defer to the wisdom of the experts uh, who deal with those questions, and, and well, hats off to them for having come up with some answers that have really helped us effectively grapple with this virus. So there's certainly uh, a major place to, to acknowledge and value that expertise. But when it comes to something like what sort of lockdowns do we want? Well, is that not a whole of society conversation? Is that not about uh, priorities and, and directions that the community as a whole decides that they want ahead? And yes, I think they are. And yet a lot of people are being told their voice does not matter in those conversations. It, it kind of makes me think like about 20 years ago in Canada, we had the debate about whether or not we wanted to enter the Iraq war. And that was, that was a huge debate. I mean, people took to the streets and protests for, and there were passionate opinions for and against and so forth. Now, one could say, well, hold on a second. This is actually a very technical matter. I mean, if you stop a guy on the street and you put a microphone in front of him and you, you show him a map of the Middle East, or you ask him to name different Iraqi cities, you ask him the history of Iraq, or, or you ask uh, uh, really detailed questions about uh, military matters and so forth, you could find out that person can't actually hardly answer any of those questions. So you turn around and you can say, well, you're not a Middle Eastern affairs expert. Uh, you're not a military general. So you know what, buddy? Your voice doesn't matter. Everybody doing those rallies and so forth. Now go back home. We don't care about your opinion, but that's not how we took that. We acknowledge there are obviously technical matters there, but there are components to that conversation that are bigger than that. They are whole of society, and, and we acknowledge all of those voices. What are we going to do moving forward? I, I really see that the climate change conversation is one where increasingly we're already trying to push out the voices of regular folks. Carbon tax. You can't have an opinion on the carbon tax, yes or no, or what have you. What do you know? Are you a climatologist? Are you associated with this or that NGO or what have you? You're not? Okay, then be quiet. Your voice doesn't matter. Even you go, well, well, hold on a second though. You're talking about all these major impacts on my life related to these climate measures you're bringing in, and you're telling me I can't have an opinion on my life. Yes, some people are telling you that. And I, I think we have to be on guard against that mindset, which has been very flawed during the pandemic. It, it continues to this day that these, these public health officials are not to be questioned, even though you're looking at some of these things and you're going, I, I, I don't know about this. Does this rule even make sense? What does this have to do with, you know, quote unquote, the science and all of this? And then you see that some public health officials in Canada are totally doing different things than other public health officials in different parts of the country or across the border and so forth. And you realize, I think this is actually a matter that's up for debate. So don't let them tell you not just on the coronavirus issue, but on, on other issues, on climate change or any other big issue that affects our lives, that you don't have a right to investigate the issue yourself, come to your own conclusions and make your voice heard and lobby for the change that you want to see, because you do have that right.